Let's begin with a drum set. Listen for an explosive live sound. The snare should be crisp and the cymbals should ring. coffee and tune in to good morning aurora news weather and really cool interviews monday through friday from 8 to 9 a.m Good morning, Aurora. Good morning, Aurora. The time is 8 o'clock a.m. You are listening to and watching Good Morning, Aurora, the second largest city's first daily news podcast. I hope that you're all having a great, wonderful day. I hope that you feel good. I hope that you are energized. I hope that you're motivated. I hope that you are in a positive, uplifting, helpful uh, disposition. I really do. 
I hope that your family is all right. I hope that your friends are okay. I hope that your mom and your dad and your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is, I hope that you're all having a great, wonderful morning today. It is Thursday, the 4th of August, and we're all here together. Uh, lots of great things are going on in the city, and as you know, tomorrow is First Friday, coming back with a fantastic lineup of different events. Venues, shows, music, food, and a whole lot more taking place here in our wonderful downtown Aurora. Downtown Aurora, as we know, is coming back and it's looking good every single week. Better and better. So uh, let's all go out there and celebrate this weekend. Gloria Gerardo is here. Good morning to you, Gloria. Good morning to you, Aurora. I hope you will have a nice day today and a blessed day today. Amen. Yes, yes, we really do hope so. Thank you very much for that. Keith Williams is here. Good morning to you, sir, and Josue Pais as well. Shout out to Monica Vasquez all day. You know what I'm saying? Just wanted to throw that in there as well. So uh, things to talk about. As the headline mentioned, we have a uh, half show for you guys today. We got a lot going on, and we have to put on our work helmets immediately uh, this morning coming up. Good Morning Aurora has a lot of different things going on. We've got some new initiatives. Stay tuned for that. More Kane County government stuff. Uh, if you guys liked the reimagining public safety discussion that we did, well, I'll tell you what, stay tuned. More of the large debates and big, mid, uh, big moderated forums uh, are in our future. We look forward to doing more of that, bringing more um, entertainment your way. And not only more entertainment, but more meaningful and heartfelt discussions. So things like, um, uh, you know, uh, mental health, fentanyl, substance abuse, different things like that, different topics, different subjects are what Good Morning Aurora is going to be covering more and more uh, and in a more sustained fashion. So we hope that you guys will continue uh, to tune in and get ready for that because our work with the Kane County State's Attorney's Office and the Kane County Sheriff's Office continues and will uh, will get better. All right. Aisha Saxon is here. Good morning to you, Aisha. The time is 8.03 a.m. So I've got the... Um, I've got the downtown Aurora list, which I'm going to give to you guys and let you know what's happening and taking place here in the town coming up this weekend. But before I get into that, I've got two great pieces of information to detail to you from our dear friends of Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry. Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry, as you know, is located at 834 North Highland Avenue here in Aurora on the west side. Root, root. They say the west side is the best side. I'm not going to take a, a stance on it at this moment, but I'm an east sider. Okay. So get ready for Healthy You. Join at Marie Wilkinson's Kitchen Urban Garden. This is going to be this Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. Healthy Trek. Uh, oh, my God. Damn, it happened quick. Well, 8.04. All right, sip it up, sip it up, sip it up, sip it up, sip it up. Oh. All right, double sip it, double sip it, double sip it, double sip it, double sip it. Mm. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. Valeria, good morning to you, dear friend. The time is now 8.04 a.m. Oh, as you guys also saw, Angie Tapia is here. Good morning, Angie. As you guys also saw, uh, I have breaking news, and my dear friend Valeria is in the breaking news. Go to the Facebook page of The Neighbor Project, and you will see. Uh, Compra tu casas, is that what it's called? But we got a great event. I'll get to that. Anyway, healthy treats for your pet. The presenter is the Humane Society of Aurora. Shouts out, the HSA. Hey, isn't that pretty cool? There is a QR code on the flyer that I have here. Um, I've created a post for this. You guys can go check it out on our Facebook page, our Instagram, and our LinkedIn. Once again, that's Healthy You. That's the uh, kitchen, the urban kitchen and garden at Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry. So that's the first piece of information that I have for you. The second piece is the Garden Harvest Dinner. That's also coming up here with our friends at Marie Wilkinson's. This is going to be Saturday, August 13th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Once again at 834 North Highland Avenue. Special thanks go to Spartan House, Dunham Foundation, and the numerous local restaurants that will be featured. Oh, that is so awesome. Cindy Morales is here. Good morning to you, dear Cindy Morales. Cindy Morales is a dear friend of the show. Get to know We Social Women's Entrepreneur Secrets of Success Aurora. It's an acronym. I, I got to make sure I get all the points of that acronym. Right, but also shout out to Cami Photo Booth as well. Um, 
Okay, so the MWFP, Marie Wilkinson's Food Pantry Board of Directors, invites you to enjoy an elegant evening outside with friends, all for a good cause. The signature event, the Harvest Dinner, will showcase seasonal vegetables and herbs grown from the urban farm. What a delicious way to not only celebrate our harvest, but to support the food pantry. You can go to mariewilkinsonfoodpantry.org to register. The time is 8.06 a.m. Okay, now, this is going to be fun. This next thing I'm going to do is, here is going to be really fun. You're going to love it, I, uh, trust me, because I have something for you. I have something, I have two pieces of information that qualify as Holy cow, I got like three pieces of information. Actually, scratch that up, DJ, scratch that. Scratch that. <laughs> Cindy Morales says, Women of Aurora is hosting the networking monthly meeting on August 17th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Marie Wilkinson's Garden. Highlight health and wellness for women in biz. Oh, well, there you go, right there. Now that's what's up. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're talking about. You go, Cindy Morales. Women of Aurora networking. That's what it's called. Okay. Your favorite radio host tries to get it right. I do. I do. But here's a piece of news I have for you. I'm going to use a little bit of Spanish here. Compra tu casa. Ven el seminario gratuito. Um, this is a free event for purchasing your home. This is going to be uh, August 27th, starting at 1 p.m. at the Aurora Financial Empowerment Center. That's at 712 South River Street here in Aurora. Great guest speakers. Violeta Pacheco from Century 21. Affiliated, excuse me. Valeria Loera, dear friend of ours, FEC, Senior Financial Cons uh, Counselor and at the Aurora Financial Empowerment Center. And our other dear friend, Liz Quintana. She is a mortgage loan originator. Uh, very cool. Once again, it's going to be August 27th at 712 South River Street here in Aurora. So get ready for that. Come on out and tell them that you heard about it here on Good Morning Aurora. Okay. Next, coming up this weekend, actually, is the Youth Workshop hosted by The Neighbor Project as well. This is going to be um, from 10 a.m. to noon at Everlasting Word Church, located at 22 North Highland Avenue here in Aurora. Everlasting Word Church is a fantastic place. Uh, the bishop is Mr. Donaldson. He's a friend of the show as well. Go there. Get your learn on. It's for youth who are interested in finance, credit building, and purchasing a home. If you're young and you're interested in that, we want to see you there. Sign up. Come on through. Neighbor Project is here to help you. And not only that, the Neighbor Project is dedicated to increasing the home ownership rate amongst traditionally marginalized populations. Okay. Uh, 22 North Highland, once again, this is a Citibank-sponsored event, and Citibank will, want to be, will, excuse me, will be one of the uh, special presenters there as well okay let's move on let's move on the time is 8 9 a.m you're listening to and watching good morning aurora good morning all of you guys good to see you guys good to see you guys now without further delay the time is 8 9 a.m once again we're only going to be here for a half hour doing this today because we have work to do we got things cooking you know what let me take a pause real quick let me take a pause real quick Rise and shine, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and tune in to Good Morning Aurora. News, weather, and really cool interviews, Monday through Friday from 8 to 9 a.m. You know, I'm starting to think that that may just be our inside the show intermission kind of thing going on. <laughs> so, hope you guys don't mind a little bit of an intermission there. All right, listen up to this. Here's the list, guys. Artists and Lofts. Uh, they have Soulmate series. Local artist is Shelby Anderson. Her painting series um, is going to be on display called The Soulmate Collection, 2 South Stope Street from 6 to 9. Uh, PM. The Black Party is also going on on Stope Avenue, encompassing all of Stope Avenue. So the Millennium Park gazebo right there from literally Galena all the way to, I believe, to Benton. 
I think it'll snake on the way back there around the side. Um, that's going to be taking place. The Stolt Block Party is going to be a lot of fun. Please go out there for that. Please take part and take a whole lot of pictures, too. I encourage you. Gary Brown Art and Gallery and Studio has Mark Redina stained glass. If these walls could talk, they're part of the Stolt Island Block Party or the Stolt Street Block Party because they're on Stope Avenue. They'll have an indoor gallery, outdoor live art as well, and get a glimpse of the creative process. That's going to be from 6 to 10 p.m. Marissa, hello. Oh, Downer. Thank you very much, Marissa. Good morning to you. So it's going to be at Downer. So from Galena to Downer is where the, um, or is rather how the, the extent of the uh, Stolt Block Party. So get ready for that. La Quinta de los Reyes. They have La Sociedad de Paul Music and Hornitas Paloma Tasting. Hornitas Paloma is, um, I think Doris said that that's tequila with grapefruit juice. It sounds tasty. All right. 6.30 to 10 p.m. Altiro has live Spanish rock featuring Damian Rivera. Tavern on Broadway has live music as well. Treadwell has live music art displayed on the walls and a barista partaking in the sidewalk sale in front. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Right out there, bam, right on the street, just getting it in for you. I like that. Okay, it continues. Um, Aurora Tap House have live music as well. Downtown Charlie Brown, how about that? Amy Morton, Stole by the Social, will be open with Tim Ryan, or excuse me, the Ryan Kazda Trio, live jazz trio. They're playing the music of today and yesterday and special cocktails and fine food offerings. Now, I will encourage you to do this when you go into Stolp Island. I encourage you to do two things. One, take selfies. Two, check out the, the ceiling. Our dear friend of the show, Jen Ingram of Jen Ingram Art, the namesake, uh, contributed to the beauty that is inside of Stolp Island. So get to know Stope Island. Go in there and uh, take a lot of pictures. I want to see them. Culture Stockcast, Respect the Mic, Spoken Word Poetry, and uh, a sidewalk book sale as well. Indiro Coffee has Pay What You Can Barbecue Cook-Off, courtesy of Indivisible Aurora's Community Fridge Project and partnership with Indiro Coffee. Bring your best culinary efforts for this fundraising event. Now, let me scratch that real quick. As you may know, we recently had the, um, what will I call it? We'll call it the pleasure. I had the pleasure of meeting Cody Lawrence. Cody Lawrence is, I believe he said, the co-CEO of uh, Indiro Coffee. And we had a great conversation. Good Morning Aurora has been blessed to be doing uh, interviews with the recent winners of the Aurora Regional Chamber of Commerce's Business Excellence Awards. That presentation took place at Bureau of Gravity. It was great. Had a nice time. Dear friend of the show, Amy Nelson, did all the photography. I loved it. Good stuff. Um, but Marie Wilkinson's won. Um, Indiro won. We've got some other great episodes coming up next week. But when I met Cody Lawrence, I really met a friend. I did. Shout out to Indiro Coffee. Because here's the thing, and you guys know this. It, it, listen, making money, having the business, that's, that's cool. But what else? What else? What else are you doing? Are you helping out in any way? Are you giving back to the same community that's given so much? One of the things that I do like is the community fridge project. Here's why I like it. It's just a fridge that's underneath the little walkway there of Enduro. And the whole purpose is that for those who are chronically unhoused or part of our transient population, they can partake of the fridge, no questions asked, Get something, get yogurt, get something healthy, bottle of water, whatever the case may be, get some food and continue. It's very small, but it means a lot. Shout out to Cody for allowing something like that to take place at his great business. The time is 8.14 a.m. Dora Sanchez Soto is here as well. She says, good morning. And good morning right back to you, Dora Sanchez Soto. You know that you are a dear friend of the show. And we're going... Oh, Guess what's coming up for first Friday news? McCarty Mills. All right. I turned the camera off real quick. As you know, it's only me in here. I turned the camera off real quick because I had to reach under the desk and scratch my leg. I got this weird. I got one gray hair coming out of my right leg. One gray hair. And I don't know what the hell is going on, but it itches too. TMI. TMI. Okay. Let me get back to what I was talking about here. All right, so there's Indiro Coffee. 1881 Electric Cycle Company has jazz from the holding music. 
They also have a sidewalk sale as well. That's 1 East Benson Street, lower level. If you're not familiar with 1881 Electric Cycle Company, get to know them, Tom. And Diesel, our dear friends of the show. Uh, check out the e-bikes. They're really cool. All right. French 75 Gallery and Lounge has the Secret Garden Cocktail. That's a special cocktail and crafted, excuse me, a special cocktail crafted specifically for First Fridays. Um, they're open from 2 p.m. to midnight tomorrow. Check out French 75 if you have not. Shout out to Braden and Hope and the whole staff. Okay, Super Jumbo has discount Yeti surplus items, 105 East Galena Boulevard from 2 to 9 p.m. The Cotton Seed Creative Exchange has the sweets, art, and more. Banana Pudding Twist, Annalise Cookies, Lang's Cookies, Izzy B's Art, Henna Art, and Sophisticated Press Shares Publishing Info. Oh, my Lord. Yay! I know. I know. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. Are you not entertained? Okay, and last but not least, certainly last, but definitely not least, at McCarty Mills, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a great hip hop event. It's gonna be called Hip Hop and Tacos. Chica's Tacos will be doing the food. Justin Wise and Cruz Ocho, local hip hop artists, will be doing the artistry, the rap, the music. McCarty Mills will have fantastic craft beer for your palate and your delight. And I, me, your host, will be the MC of this great event. And I can't wait. I'm going to do justice to Cruz Ocho and Justin Wise in their uh, hip-hop showcase here. Once again, that's going to be hip-hop and tacos. Come on through. It starts at, what, 6? But uh, McCarty Mills is open until 11 o'clock p.m. McCarty Mills is located at 140 South River Street here in Aurora. So get ready for that. That is your first Friday's lineup. Please come on out. Please take a good. Uh, please take a bunch of pictures and have a great time. I also have another piece of. East Aurora District 131 presents the Back to School Celebration. Free school supplies for D131 students only while supplies last. That's happening this Sunday, August 7th, East Aurora High School. You enter in door number eight. Curtis, what door is that? Door number eight. Can you say it one more time? Door number eight. Can you say it in Spanish? Ocho. Ocho. Uh, La Puerta Ocho. The eighth door. Um... That's another good song. La Puerta Negra. Okay, 500 Tomcat Lane is your address, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's taking place. This is in collaboration with Cities and Schools Aurora. Food, activities, and a whole lot more. Information and resources will be provided on registration, the dual language program, color. Oh, my God. I messed up curriculum. Sip it up. Sip it up. Sip it up. Sip it. Oh, okay, let's try that again. Registration, dual language program, curriculum, VNA, Aurora Public Library, the SCA VCV student trackers. I don't know what CVC stands for, but Jumpstart Early Learning and the 21st Century Program. Once again, it's taking place this Sunday at East Aurora High School, door number eight in the atrium from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's the back to school celebration here in our wonderful city of Aurora. The time is 8.19 a.m. You are listening to and watching Good Morning Aurora, the second largest city's first daily news podcast. Good morning, Norma Peterson. Norma Peterson is a dear friend of the show, and she is, she is the executive director of Document the Abuse. Learn about the EAA, that's the Evidentiary Abuse Affidavit, and its role in law enforcement. Okay, so now that it's 8.19, I do have a rant for you guys, but I have a couple more pieces of news. What should I do? Should I rant and then do the news out? Or you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the news. I'll finish my news and then I'll rant all the way out. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what we shall do. And we'll do it together, guys. Okay. Next piece of news, learn about the FEC, the Aurora Financial Empowerment Center. Registration is required for this great event. This is going to be Thursday, August 18th at 6 p.m. at the Santori Library. 125 is the room. Registration is required for this. Now, why is this important? Well, I'll tell you why it's important. Do you know that 
at the FEC down on 712 South River Street, that area, or uh, which it's the Thrive Center, it's to be renamed the Aurora Financial Empowerment Center. That will be, you are hearing it here now, facts, it will be the hub, indeed, the beating heart of all activity at a local level for community members and constituents here in the city of Aurora. It will be. It will. It's already happening. The whole goal and the purpose is to make sure that every resident of Aurora, even undocumented residents of Aurora, can benefit from financial literacy. That is the point, full stop. That's it. So, our dear friends of the Aurora Public Library and other community partners are helping the Neighbor Project and the Aurora FEC to build this place, to staff it, to have it serviceable with free programming for everyone. The key word there being free. So once again, this is going to be Thursday, August 18th, 6 o'clock p.m. at the library. Registration is required. I have the flyer for that. If you do not already follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and everywhere, please do. Your hashtags for news are Aurora News and Aurora Media. Say it again, Curtis. I said a lot. Uh, what will I say, guy? Take care of yourself and each other. <laughs> Uh, the time is 8.21 a.m. We got nine more minutes to go because, as you guys know, we have a busy day today. We got a busy day. Lots of work is going on here for our dear community, and we have to be ready and prepared for it. I got my helmets on. Okay, Tracy Duran is here. Good morning, all my wonderful friends. Good morning to you, dear Tracy Duran. Tracy Duran is a dear friend of the show, and she's a local historian here in Aurora. Michelle Gums, good morning to you as well. And Emily says financial literacy is so important that is absolutely correct absolutely correct all right a couple more pieces of news to go and then i'm going to rant my way out of here ladies and gentlemen monday august 29th at 6 30 p.m another great event is taking place at the rural public library santori branch right here in downtown in room 126 it will be the mutual aid teach in what is mutual aid well you can learn about it Indivisible Aurora, working with the Black Alliance for Peace, will present this. There is a Zoom option as well. Registration is required for that. There is a link embedded in the flyer that I was sent. So I will make a flyer and a post, or I'll make a post about this, and you guys can see that. Access the link and then go and show up. All right, moving right along. Um, the Aurora Police Department has the um, police Academy, the Citizens Police Academy going on, and it's in Spanish. Academia de Policia Cuidad Daniel de Aurora en Español. Um, applications are being accepted until the 12th of August. So, um, for more information, I do have the flyer for this. It's in all Spanish. I just got it this morning. Uh, and this will take place Martes. What is Martes? Martes is Tuesday, right? Is Martes Tuesday? Um, Martes, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, for 11 weeks. So that's what it is. Uh, that's the police academy. It's every Martes, 6 to 9 p.m. for 11 weeks. And I hope Martes, Mar thank you very much, Dora. I appreciate it. That's right. Martes. Um, so that is that piece of information for you, dear friends. Now, here's the next thing going up. Last but not least, this is the last piece of news, and then I'm going to rant all the way. I'm going to need five minutes to rant. Michelle says, I wish I could be in more places at once. I need about three or four clothes. Such a clones, such a, such a wonderful city with so much love going on. I feel the same way, right? Like, man, I want to be here. I want to be there. We need to, like, shape shift our, like, Nightcrawler, right? Boof. Okay. Marissa says, you heard it here first. The winning musical instruments for the Santori Public Library Children's Garden are the tuned drums and melody chimes book well thank you well i you know what Yay! all we got is news that's it thank you very much for that marissa we appreciate that all right last piece of news before i rant my way all the way into 8 30 is august 14th from noon to 5 p.m at mccarty park 350 east galena boulevard Alderwoman Wani Garza of the Second Ward presents her ice cream social. That is right. There will be clowns, face painting, lots of great food, a live DJ, mariachi, and uh, pinta caritas. I don't know what pinta caritas means, 
uh, but it looks good. I don't know if that's food, but if it is food, I'm ready. And if it's not, I still like it. Uh, it's going to be August 14th, once again, from noon to 5 p.m. McCarty Park is located at 350 East Galena Boulevard. It is the park that is quite literally and frankly in between New York Street and Galena Park Boulevard and right there behind El Hueto. So that little park right behind El Hueto, that's McCarty Park here on the Great East Side. Once again, Second Ward Alderwoman Wani Garza presents this great ice cream social, Domingo Social Congelado. Get ready for that. The time is face painting. Aha, fa thank See, this is why I love y'all. This is why I love y'all. Because I would have went there thinking it was food. Yeah, I want to eat some pinta caritas. No, it's not face painting. Okay. Um, Johnny Felix is here. Good morning. Johnny Felix is a dear friend of the show. He goes by the moniker Talento Creations. Get to know Talento Creations and shout out to him. He made the front page of the Chicago Tribune. Fancy. Oh, big dog. He was out there giving away um, autographs for his fantastic artwork. And he is a great member of our Puerto Rican community here in Aurora. And we support him very much. The time is 826 a.m. OK, I need to rant. Join us next Thursday at the movies. Back to the Future is Aurora at Aurora Regional Fire Museum. Thank you very much for that, Marissa Amoni. Okay, so I, um, you know, I, I look around. I look around. I see this. I see that. A couple things. A couple things upset me. I just want to tell you, know, we're friends. A couple things upset me. You know, and I could be missing something. Is is there something wrong with the city council meetings? Am I missing something? Is it me? Because I keep, I, I don't know what it is. They seem to have gotten more contentious. Is that just me? Or do they seem a little bit more agitated, a little more, right? It's a little hot, a little, whoa, a little spicy. Is it just me? Or does it reflect the environment in the city? I don't know, guys. I, mm. Because when I watch these, I'm looking for specific things. I want to see what the vote was for this. I want to see if this event gets put on the consent agenda or if it goes on unfinished business. I'm looking for specific targeted items. That's why I tune in. So a lot of times, once I get what I got, I'm out of there. Sometimes I'll watch a little bit just to get what I get, then I'm out of there. So I don't even watch the whole thing sometimes. But I don't know. I see a little bit of frick. Oh, little hot, little heat, little tension, little friction. And I wonder, is it just me? Do you guys feel the same way? Let me know what you guys think. The reason why it bugs me is because I don't think that that is the, the picture of the city. Everywhere I go, I see happiness. I'm psh, right. We hang out. You guys, we all we're all friends here. A lot of us hang out with each other a lot. So, you know, right, we go downtown to the fire museum. We go to the farmer's market. We go to this and that, and it's all love. It's all cool. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? It's all handshakes, smiles, and hugs. So how can it be handshakes, smiles, and hugs all over the place, west side, farmer's market, syrup you're eating for your breakfast? How can it be smiles, hugs, love, and kumbaya? amongst the people but our leaders and elected officials are right or again like i said maybe i'm looking at it wrong what do you guys think that's part one part two is that there is and i'm, and I'm gonna keep this pg i'm gonna keep this pg recently a a um a politician who won the GOP governor uh race he said a com he made a comment and a statement which i think was probably the worst and most deplorable thing i've ever heard in my life he said about women's reproductive health that it was worse he said that abortion was worse than the holocaust now if you think that that alone is a disqualifying, deplorable, disgusting, and low-class statement. I'll tell you what's worse. You want to know what's worse than that? He was in Aurora. 
Did you know that? He was in Aurora hanging out on National Night Out. And that alone infuriated me and upset me. I think what was worse was that he got a welcoming reception from some people here in the city. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Is it not enough to disrespect people, to talk down on them demeaningly? It's bad enough to speak down on women, but to come here in Aurora and get welcomed? So I, you know, guys, it, it really, it's, it's moments and times like this that I really, right, we take two steps forward. Sometimes we take two steps back, man. And that's the thing. I feel like we we speak with a unified voice a lot, but we don't do it all the time. And I think that's the problem. I think that we have cracks in our little, you know what we have? We have tiny, tiny cracks in our armor. That's what it is. It's like medieval times, right? It's like you got on chain mail. But if one of the chain mail parts is loosened, it could be anywhere. An arrow gets through and boom, now you got internal bleeding. That's what Aurora is. Aurora is a knight with chain mail. Unfortunately, we got a couple of little places. We got a couple of weak spots. We do. We do. We have a couple of weak spots for some strange reason. Although we speak with a positive disposition and a unified voice, there's always a moment in a time where a Darren Bailey or some other reprobate can come into town, get some ice cream, and have people cheering, happy to see him. What in the world is it going to take for us to repair our armor and be consistently unambiguously and resolutely against the worst things on God's green earth. The time is 8.32 a.m. and I took two extra minutes and that's not a good thing. I gotta get out of here. So I want you to all, Tracy Rand says, to be honest, the government should not be in charge of people's bodies, let alone a woman's body. Religion should not play a part in that topic and decisions. I absolutely agree. Dora says, we need leaders that can understand diversity and change. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. It's a big sandbox and everybody must play nice. Michelle says, plan disruption is sadly effective. As an elected, as elected, I refuse to be sucked in or changed. I just won't do it. That's a fact. That's a fact. I agree. I agree. Uh, the time is 8.33 a.m. I hope that you all have a blessed, positive, wonderful day a safe day, and a happy day. Tomorrow is First Friday. We will be back downtown having a good time. There's a fantastic lineup, as I just detailed to you guys. Come on out to the Stolt Block Party. Get to know what's going on in our great city. And also, don't forget, pay what you can. Tickets are available at uh, the Paramount Theater. I'm out of here. Tune in tomorrow for another great and fantastic episode. Take care of yourself and each other.